Hey guys, it's me, Sarah Kate. I am back for another video. I make motherhood and lifestyle videos every week. So if you're into that kind of thing, please hit subscribe. And today I'm going to talk about why I started a YouTube channel. So Soren is taking a nap. I got a shower in, which is why my hair is still wet, but he's still napping, so I figured I would try to sneak in doing this video really quick. Um, so don't mind my hair, and let's just jump right in. Okay, so I have been getting some questions lately on why did I start a YouTube channel? And it was kind of an accident why it happened, or how it happened. Um, but I just wanted to address the questions for that. Okay, so the first main reason I created the channel and created the first couple of videos is because I wanted to document our lives for us to go back and look on or for me to go back and watch. I love taking photos. I love taking videos. I always have since I was a kid. I'm very sentimental videos back in the day with even like with me and my friends and I love going back and looking at those pictures. I wish I still had some of those videos. I've lost a lot of the footage because me and my group of friends were so crazy and funny. Also the moment that I became pregnant, I knew I wanted to document that journey as well and do like pregnancy update videos. But I was so tired when I got pregnant. I was working full time. I would come home and I had an Etsy shop that I was running because I was trying to save up a bunch of money for um, our baby that was we were about to have. So I was doing all of this work. I was trying to keep up with our house and like chores and just like general living situations that I couldn't even fathom trying to do anything extra. Uh, even if it was like something that I wanted to do, which I really wanted to do like these pregnancy updates so that I could go back and watch one day, like what symptoms did I have during what trimesters or what, what weeks, like what week did I first feel the baby move, like all those little tiny moments, even though I did like write some of those things down, I wish I did take the time to do videos and do updates and like belly bump updates and things like that and it never happened because I was exhausted. That is um, kind of where stemming wanting to do a YouTube channel came from is I wanted to originally document my journey of being pregnant but I it didn't happen so I knew after I had a baby that I wanted to do it at some point. And even if it meant putting together those videos just for me and Alan later on, I knew I would want this. It just so happened that when Soren came off oxygen, I kind of just had this energy out of nowhere to create a video to update our family and friends, update each and every person. I figured a video would kind of just reach everybody that I love and care about and let them know how we're doing. Um, and I just really enjoyed the process. So that is how that got started. And that is the number one reason um, I want to have a YouTube channel is to document our lives and all those important moments that are going to come and go by so fast. Like Christmas is already gone. His first birthday is already gone. <laughs> It happens so quick you guys so um this is my way of like capturing those moments in time for my family reason number two on why I wanted to start a YouTube channel is I want to help break that perfect mom facade that we see on the internet we see it every day the highlight reels of moms on the internet everything's perfect her house is perfect her makeup's done her hair is perfect like I don't know. I don't know how people can pretend that's their life day in and day out. I know it's not. And while I can appreciate and recognize these moms and understand that they're trying to like gain followers and it's a side of business or, or whatever they have going on, 
I would see these types of mothers out there when I brought Soren home and um, was trying to relate to people. And there was nothing more discouraging than to come across a perfect mom on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever social media platform. Uh, because it's not realistic, you guys. Nobody is like that. Nobody has a perfect life and a perfect house. And they're always well put together. And it really bothered me that this is the standard and we're letting this be okay. It's not okay. And it's not reality. I obviously dealt with a lot of like anxiety and a lot of um, emotional distress from everything that I have been through with my trauma birth to bringing home a baby that needed special attention. So I knew one day when I had a moment to be able to create something on the internet that I wanted to create a safe place for other moms, whether you're a new mom or not, that you can come hang out and chat with me and I'm a real person. I'm not a perfect mom out there. I'm not trying to pretend my life is you know, this picture of perfection. It's not happening. And I want to help, like, pave the way for other moms to let them know it, it's okay. That's not real. It's so... And while it is okay to post pretty pictures, I think it's important to recognize both sides. That, yeah, you're going to have great days where everything looks good. Also, like, let's recognize the bad days and your hair's in a bun and there's toys all over the floor. Like, there needs to be balance. Balance in the force, you guys. There's, there needs to be both. It's not perfect all the time. And I want to help break that mold. Hence, you'll see me not wearing makeup, looking like a hot mess all the time on the internet. It's not easy to do. It's not easy to put myself out here and do this. But I've learned and grown a lot in the past year. And I certainly do not mind being a voice for moms who are looking for a real person. Okay, number three. I wanted to challenge myself to create videos and kind of give myself homework. Uh... A, to challenge myself, but also B, to get back into doing something creative. I'm a digital content creative director and graphic designer. I went to school for it. It's what I do professionally. It's what I did before I had Soren, and I miss it so much. But my favorite thing to do ever was to help a brand or a team create promotional videos. I really love everything from doing like the storyboards to coming up with content ideas to actually filming it and directing the different shots and doing b-roll and the editing portion. It was my favorite form of doing any type of digital marketing so it was only natural for me to step into more of a YouTube side of things. I love making videos and I love watching YouTube videos and to be honest this is not my first YouTube channel. Um, I've done them for a lot of brands like I talked about professionally, I've done them for myself in the past, but I don't have any expectations and I don't want anybody to have expectations of me. I'm not trying to be YouTube famous here. I'm just trying to document my life and do a couple other things on this checklist that I'm going through this video with, with you guys with. Um, but I don't expect anything in return other than just having something to look back on and watch as a family. <laughs> Uh, and just enjoy the creative side of making videos. I really love uh, doing that type of work and I really miss working. So it's helping kind of uh, fill that role that I was missing in my life uh, over this past year. And so it's kind of forcing me to sit down and take time out for myself. Uh, so I kind of ro roll it into my self care because it's something I enjoy doing. But it also helps me have an idea of when I do enter back into the workforce at whatever time that might be right for my family, that I'll have an idea of how many hours I can commit a week. Um, so I'm not like over promising, under delivering on the amount of hours I can actually <laughs> sit down and work. So it's kind of helping me um, realize the logistics of all of that uh, while in doing something that I enjoy.
So the number four, number four reason. So the fourth reason <laughs> I am making this channel is to share, to share with my loved ones and to share with whomever may stumble across my channel um, by accident. I remember being transferred from the one hospital I was supposed to deliver at. They transferred me over to another hospital that had a higher NICU level unit. And I started hearing the doctors talk about this preeclampsia and the nurses like talk about this preeclampsia. I didn't know what it was. No clue. So the first thing I did as soon as they left the room, obviously, was to jump on my phone and try to research it. I was checking YouTube, I was checking Google, I was, you know, everywhere I could think there of a search engine. I was looking for this preeclampsia to learn about it and to find other moms who went through this word that I had never heard before. Nobody in my family's ever had it. Nobody in my circle of friends had ever had anything like it. So it was new to me. Yeah. And it is very hard to find moms who've had preeclampsia on the internet. At least it was a year ago. I was desperately trying to find another mom to just like connect to and ask questions with. And then my hopes is one day there'll be a mom laying in her hospital bed. <laughs> Whether she's like alone or has tons of family and friends around like I did, but they still didn't know what was going on because we all had never heard of it before. So we had no idea what to expect. If you are a mom and you're like in your hospital right now and you're in complete shock of what the heck's going on, please know you can absolutely DM me and message me, email me, whatever you gotta do. And I will talk to you right now. I'll talk to you for as long as you want because I remember being in my hospital bed and all I wanted to do was talk to another mom who had been through whatever this was that I was going through now. I wanted to chat with somebody who was experienced in it and ask some questions. So it is my hope that if there is a mom out there who is in the middle of that preeclampsia hurricane, they find my YouTube channel or they find my Instagram and they can reach out to me and it could be at any hour, a day or night, and I will be here for you. I'll answer your questions. I'll chat with you as long as you want. And I'll let you know that there is hope at the end of that tunnel. Just keep hanging on, girl. You can do it. <laughs> so that is why I wanted to start a YouTube channel. It's nothing spectacular. <laughs> um, I just really wanted to create memories get back into being creative and also hopefully share some knowledge along the way. I have some really cool green topics that I'll be rolling out to you guys soon. I used to be a digital marketing manager for a green subscription box company and I learned so much that I want to share with you guys um, when I worked there um, that I took over to Into Motherhood. It blew my mind. It's going to blow yours. So make sure you guys hang out with me. Hit the subscribe button. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. Please know I don't have any expectations for myself, for this channel. Um, I am aiming to do one video a week. That is my schedule right now. And so far I have hit every single week for at least a month or more. So I am very proud um, because it's so hard to get videos out sometimes. So Thank you so much for hanging out again. I love you guys, and I'll see you around. Bye.